Well, hi, hello, how are you? And welcome back to another one of my Creative Sim videos. And if you are new here, what took you so long to click on one of my videos? Today, we are taking a look at the most loved family by me, the Williams family. Oh my god, I love this family so much. So these this family came from The Sims 3. Um, they were in The Sims 3 family bin. And one day I was like, you know what? Let me play with them. Let me plop them in the game. Let me play with them. And I instantly fell in love with them. I played with this family so, so long ago. Like, I don't even remember when I started playing with this family. But they have so much details to them. Oh my god. But anyway, before I get any... any oh my god, I can't even fucking talk. See, this is like the fourth time I recorded this video and i'm tired i'm tired anyway so the person that we're taking a look at right now is the mother the one who has started it all miss amy williams oh my god miss amy williams um i am gonna show like a video a, a, not a video a picture of what she looked like in the sims 3 and then like you know blah blah so you could get to see who she was and so with amy oh my god i loved playing with amy she is a cook she loves cooking like she is just a natural born chef this woman has been through it all but let me read the description like the family description that comes with them in the family bin. So it says, Amy Williams is a marvel in the kitchen, but her husband Marley is a bit of a dreamer. Will he be able to support the two of them and little Malika? Or will Amy have to use her skills to earn some dough? She did have to use her skills. At least in my game, she did have to use her skills um, because we don't know what Marley was doing. Marley, he was trying, he was trying, but yeah. We had to pull in the dough. She was making bank in The Sims 3 when I had her. Oh my goodness. She was doing so good. And so with Marley. Um, oh, before any of that. Oh my God. I'm like all over the place already. Um, I'm not going to show all of their outfits. Um, because I am putting them in the... Uh, in my save file that I'm creating right now and I wanted to add them in there because I just love them so much I do I love them so much but now yeah before I I mean I keep saying fucking before like let me just oh God. start over start over we starting over hello hi how are you how's it going let's explain some more about Miss Amy and Mr. Marley okay Amy, I, when I was looking her up, before I was making her outfits, like, like, before I was creating her, I was looking her up, and on their, what is it, like, the Sims fandom wiki thing, they were saying that she basically kind of shared similarities to Serena Williams. Personally, I mean, I guess I kind of see it, but, like, not really, because, I mean, like, she is very athletic, but then I'm, like, I'm thinking, I'm, like, if she's trying to resemble like if they're trying to have her resemble serena williams i'm like where's the originality where is the originality sims like what's going on here but that's never here or there that's never here or there, okay but with miss amy i feel like i'm going around in so girls and i'm not telling a damn thing about this family <laughs> anyway um i was struggling a lot with trying to figure out how i wanted them to look um because I was like, I kind of want to make them have like the same uh, outfits than how they had in The Sims 3. But I'm like, then I want it to be different. So I did create two outfits for them. Um, but I did actually try to resemble uh, the outfits that they had came with in The Sims 3 before I like I had switched them up or whatever. Um, but yeah, so Amy... She has been through a lot in The Sims 3. I did an experiment on her and I feel bad. But so they're living in this house. Like I can't remember exactly what house it was. But I know it was like a cliff house in The Sims 3, right? And I really liked it and I wanted to use it. So they're living in this cliff house. And I was like, she, I was like, I want them to have another baby. So she got pregnant, obviously. And then I kept seeing that thing where they're like, if you listen to... Um, kids music if you watch tv if you watch kids tv and then all all this other stuff whatever how whatever it was or if you dance to kids music blah 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 while the sim is pregnant she will have triplets so i wanted to test that theory 
she did have triplets y'all she had triplets yeah she had triplet boys i can't remember all of their names um but i know one was malik i know one i think one was michael and then i think the other one was music marcus something i think it was marcus it might have been marcus i believe it was marcus i i can't remember but I, they all had m names because malika has an m name um but yeah i feel bad but she was making a do what a do and and it got to a point because we outgrew that house i stole the lamb grabs house i stole it i did i'm i kicked the motherfuckers out i was like y'all going y'all going and i moved them in and they live in their nice their life nice oh my god i can't you see i can't talk oh my goodness I, <sighs> breathe breathe okay anyway <laughs> so yeah we kicked the we kicked the land grabs out we stole their house we got that we got their cars we got all of their furniture all of that amy had a nice she went from having this small last little kitchen to this big grand kitchen and i renovated it it looked beautiful from what i remember i haven't played this family in so long i remember i did look at them when i was recreating them but i forgot everything that was going on i know i turned what was it they had like four bedrooms i think it was in the land grab household or three i think it was originally three i completely gutted the two bedrooms that were next to each other and i made it one giant bedroom for the the triplets and then i think like over time what i planned was i was going to create more space for them or whatever and then with their daughter malika right now in the sims 3 she is a teenager um and she is i believe she's in a relationship with sam yeah Yamamoto I think that's what his name is the one with the bull head the that little the little Tyler with the bull head because they were kind of they were both Tyler's around the same time yeah so him him with the bull head I, re I remember that yeah he she's in a relationship with him um and then I also was trying to get her to because she wanted to what was it she wanted a horse like she rode some want for a horse or something like that and I was and then I saw what was it I saw the unicorn for the first time. I've never seen the unicorn in my game. Like, it's so rare when I see the unicorn. I found the unicorn. I cheated the, the relationship so I could add it to the thing. I don't remember if I, I ended up adding him to the family or not. I can't remember. But whenever it comes back, I'm going to just cheat that thing and put it right into the into the family. So, yeah, now she's going to be a horse girl, obviously. <laughs> but anyway, I think now we are about to... Are we moving on? No, we're not moving on. We're still, we still on Amy. Amy had, like, a full on like i was doing a lot with her she took forever but when it came to marley and malika oh my goodness so i was just i was just deciding because of putting them in the new safe file right i was deciding on how i wanted them to be i was like do i want malika to still be a toddler i'm like do i want her to be a child or do i want her to be a teenager and then i came to the conclusion that i wanted her to be a child i feel like it works best for this family so they're kind of like a little sped up in their lives the one thing i am struggling with um with in this game right now because when uh amy got pregnant she did the malika was a child when uh amy had gotten pregnant so i'm trying to figure out if i actually want her to already be pregnant in the game um oh and now we're moving on to marley yeah I, I thought that was a good base that that guy right here he was a good base he was a, he was a real good base i was like man i barely gotta do anything just gotta fix it up fatten him up a little bit and he good anyway <laughs> anyway <laughs> let me get back so i'm still deciding on whether or not if i do want them to have the triplets i kind of do want her to still have triplets but um I think what I'm going to do is because I have this whole story in my head and I obviously I am going to show I'm almost done with Willow Creek um I realized that that I have missed so much like I haven't added like families I haven't fixed their relationships it is so much like oh my god and I had to like take like a break I think I took like a month break off from working on the on the save file but once I finish with Willow Creek um like completely finish it like finish the builds and then add like the families in willow creek i will do a video and show you guys what i am at right now on that part and then we're gonna move on to oasis springs um oh but that's a whole nother story i wanted to talk about hopefully we have time in this video to talk about it 
but um but yeah so i'm still deciding on if i want to add the triplets i kind of do because like they're they're fucking iconic they're iconic yo but i'm like if i do add them i'm like do i want her to be kind of like pregnant um and then you know she gives birth to the triplets or do I want them to all already be in the game, but they're babies or something like that, right? I mean, like, if the infants come out before then, then hey, hey, we can add the infants in there. They could be infants. You see what I'm saying? But we're just, I'm still deciding. I'm still deciding. I do actually do kind of want to give them because I feel like they would complete the family, right? They went from being a family of three to a family of six in like a matter of seconds because of me. But... <laughs> moving on marley i do actually adore marley so much even though like uh, he um uh, they don't really give too much like descriptions because again they are like a uh what do you call it like a bin their bin family so they didn't have like uh descriptions in their thing from what i remember but for some reason like I can see Marley because Marley is like the and is an author. He's trying to make money by being an author. And Amy, you know, she's a natural born chef, which in my game, right, she did her thing. Then I started focusing on Marley and Marley, he was doing his thing. It did take a while because it, it, it does take a while to make a decent solid money when it comes to The Sims 3 on writing books. But, um, I feel like so like fast forward in their lives because again like Malika is supposed to be a toddler in The Sims 3 and now she is a child so within that right like fast forward I'm feeling like you know everything's going good Amy finally took that step to go make money now they're living in it, not like a fancy fancy house but they're they're living humbly they're doing their they're doing their dues you know they're doing pretty well um Harley, Mar Harley, fuck it. Have I, I been saying Harley this whole time? Marley has been, um, you know, he has been making a lot more money when it came to his writing. You know, things are finally going well for them. And then, bam, the triplets come and then not really ruins their lives. But, you know, just kind of gives some more depth into their characters. When it comes to Malika, um, I didn't really give her in terms of like likes and dislikes because like I said when it comes to children they can go anywhere but Malika I've always seen her as very outgoing because I think her traits in um her traits when she starts off in the game in the sims 3 is excitable and easily impressed and so i mean i i seen her when i was playing with her right i got very like friendly vibes she wanted to be everybody's friend um but she was also about fashion and usually i give people col color schemes and stuff like that but i did not do that this time the sims 3 i was i was always about giving people's color schemes i believe her color scheme was yellow and pink or if it was yellow and purple i know it's in the, those categories yellow pink purple somewhere around there i i think it might have been pink because i kind of vaguely remember giving her a bunch of pink outfits um like i said it's been forever since i played with that family oh my god but yeah i'm really excited for them to finally be in the game i feel like i've just been rambling and talking about nothing <laughs> but i am super excited um yeah so like the uh, I think I wanted I wanted to I I guess we kind of have a little time to talk a little bit about it but probably not I do plan on making another creative sim video um y'all will have to see exactly who he is but uh, <laughs> I am so excited to create him he is an elder so that's gonna be like my first elder creative sim super excited yay clap clap yay can y'all hear my fingers tipping can you hear it probably not <laughs> <laughs> so now we're working on Malika. I'm super excited for Malika. I am really excited to actually like play with her and have her evolve, you know? Like I'm super excited to see where she goes and oh, I'm just so happy. Anyway, <laughs> but I wanted to talk a little bit about the Sims community. I feel so like not really left out that's not that's not the word but i feel like i'm just not a part of the sims community like i thought i was like yeah i'm like 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 you know i just started really actively interacting with people in the sims community usually i'm always like the lurker i'm the one that stands behind or whatever but 
I don't know lately I guess because of the, all of the drama that has been going on in the community I just don't feel like I want to be a part of it <laughs> and i'm just like and i'm i'm like oh my fucking god like what the hell did i get myself into i'm about to go back to my other hobbies because <laughs> i've been like you know I've, of course obviously i have other hobbies but like I've, i got way too many to fucking count yo but like yeah i just i don't know something about the sims community where i felt like it was gonna be a little bit more friendlier and it's really not and i know that's how a lot of communities are besides just the sims community but ju it's just something about the sims community and actively being like a part of it liking people's posts commenting on people's posts you know like talking with people and and all that other stuff it just i don't know something about it i just don't feel like i belong and so <sighs> I, i'm like man i'm it because like i was a part of a what was it i was trying to do a challenge and somebody had like you know wanted to put her fucking two cents into shit but you know we ain't gonna get get into that um because this video is almost over <laughs> but she decided she wanted to put her two cents into it and basically she she made me stop doing the challenge but not so because of the fact that like i didn't want to do it it was just because of like you know it just really rubbed me the wrong way and then she wants to go on and she wants to like my pictures and my posts and i'm like fuck out of here fuck out of here absolutely not um so yeah but basically i am i really don't feel like i'm really I, I don't know it's just very unwelcoming it's really like it's a culture shock i i think that's what like the word i'm looking for it's a fucking culture shock but i know this video is about to be over i'll probably talk more about it in the in the next video maybe if i remember i'm probably not gonna remember because we're pretty much getting close to the end like i said i didn't really give her too many likes besides the her like lack like oh my god i can't fucking talk here's the pictures yay don't they look like such a cute family happy family oh my god the video is about to be over and i gotta talk really fast because i've talked too much oh my god that's so cute i hope you guys like it make sure you kind of like oh my god i can't fucking talk like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye guys Oh, the video's not over. I just realized. Um, I, I talked too fast. Okay, now it's about to be over. Like, come to subscribe and see you guys next time. Oh my god, fuck it. Bye! <laughs>